Okay, everybody, Lori George here for the second part of our uh, webinar. I want to do part two with you, and let's get started. Let me open my PowerPoint, and we'll start where we left off. You'll see I've added other screens, because last evening I tried to uh, conduct the webinar, and it was really getting difficult uh, going online, grabbing photos. So I'm just going to go through the steps that I have taken on each slide. And that way, uh, the audio will be clearer. And uh, well, let's get started. This is where we left off, this screen here. You can see that I've added some leaves. And let me show you. Let's go to the Animations tab and the Animation pane. What I've done with these leaves is I've taken them from one of the roses that I've added down here in another slide, in slide six. I cropped the photo, and then I took the leaves, and then I clicked on the leaf like this, and I right-clicked and copied. Now, when I did that, if you go to your Home tab in the clipboard, well, it doesn't show right now. I apologize for that. Uh, the leaf will show in the clipboard. Let me go ahead and copy that for you so you can see how that works. Okay. If I go over here to my clipboard, the drop down, there's the leaf. And I showed you previously that if you click on this, if you click on the leaf, it'll throw it into the page. After I throw it in, I'm going to delete it. See, it throws it in. Let's close this out. Okay, I don't want that there because I've already completed this. Let me hit my delete button and it's gone. Okay, let me play this slide and show you what I've added here. There's our love swirl, our drop down text, then the three flashes, and now the leaves. The motion path that I use for these leaves, look at that. Okay, the motion paths that I've used for these leaves are in your animations pane. You click on one, so it'll open that up. And I went down here to more motion paths. I like this one here. It starts at the top and it drops down. Let me cancel that because I've already added it. I've placed the leaves above the slide box because I don't want them to show. I want them to drop down. Okay, I stretched it by clicking on the motion path and then clicking on the little ball. You can see it when you do it. And then I drag the ball down to where I want the leaf to end. Okay, now you notice over here that it starts after the previous and it shows you what the motion path is, the curvy right. I'm sorry, that's showing you this one here. Let me click here. Okay, that takes us to picture six. Okay, and the leaf is going to turn down. And you notice that it comes after. All these come after, just like I've shown you. One after the other. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, those of you viewing this, as opposed to those who just watched the video, we'll see this beautiful young woman here. That happens to be my daughter. I'm so proud of her. She is truly beautiful. So I placed her here. This is a Christmas picture that she had made, but it just seemed to go with all of our colors here. So that is my middle daughter, beautiful as she is. Now, when I annotate in the video, when I place it on YouTube, I'm going to show you the keyword for getting all of these different graphics. I'm not showing you here because I want to get through this without any uh, decelerations on the computer. Okay, I've added some chocolates. I did say in the previous video that, that women don't necessarily like chocolates, but some do. So I've added a few chocolates. I added a ring here, and I went in and I removed. Let me click on my picture tools. I went in and removed the background <clears throat> from the ring. And then when I placed the rose here, 
I had to make a copy. So I clicked on this. I right clicked. Let's do that. Whoops. Sometimes you have to click and re-click. I made a copy. I clicked on the box for the rows. And then I right clicked and this box popped up and I'm going to choose copy. If I go to the home tab, the drop down of the clipboard, I see my rows. If I click on it, it throws it into the page. There it is right here. I'm going to close this out. Of course, I'm going to delete that rose. I don't need it. I've already finished this slide. Okay. And that's the same rose I used right here and assigned animations to. Only you remember how we turned. Let me go up here to the clipboard and throw it back in here and drag it up so I can show you what I'm talking about. Let me drag this rose up. You see the knob? All I did was turn it. I decreased the size by dragging from the corner. Then I placed it down here and assigned an animation to it by going to your animations tab. Okay. Now let me delete that rose. Okay. Something was getting my attention up there. I'm sorry. Okay. Now let's play all of these animations so you can see what I've done. Our text drops in. I gave it some depth by creating a shadow. I'll show you that in just a moment. Okay, let me show you that text. Okay, there's our text in the drawing tools, in the word styles. Click on this one here, the text effects. And go to shadow and you can see here the one that's highlighted is this one the perspective shadow that's the one that I use for this text box okay let's move along slide 5 is interesting I found this elderly couple in Microsoft Office and again I'll annotate the keyword so that you can find it again if you want to use it I placed a little blink on her eye and the blink that I used is found when I insert a shape the shape that I like to use for the twinkle is this one right here now when you click on it and then you find where you want to put it I'm not going to put it on her eye I've already done that I'm going to put it here it comes out blue I don't think that 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 anybody really uses that color but I make it white and I don't need that blue background, so I'll go to the shape outline, and I say, I don't want an outline. So it's going to be hard to see here because it blends in. Let me delete that. And then I assigned it. Let me click on here. I assigned it an animation. Let me click right on it. Well, bear with me just a second. There it is. Okay. The animation I assigned it was a blink. We'll do the animations, the drop down. There's the blink right there. Okay. All right. And then this text here, all I did is I inserted, let's, let's go over here, a text box because we have to do that to put our words in there. Then I dragged it to the size that I wanted. You can drag it all the way out like that. Okay. And I went to the drawing tools. I told it what color I wanted it to be. What if I want it to be this color? What if I want it to have this outline? What if I wanted the outline to be a little bit larger? I would go to the weight section. What if I did something like this? Okay. You might like that. I didn't choose that. Okay. So I'm going to decrease the size here and just exit that out because I don't need that. Okay. Let's play all of these animations. You can see that they start after the previous because it's a video and all of these follow after. Okay. Because we want to keep it moving along. Let's play this slide. Here's the happy couple. 
There's the text. I wanted it to fly out and twirl as it did. Okay, let's click on this. I used animations. You can see I used the drop down. Let's see. I went to the motion pads. I used this one here, the down. And then I used another one to the right. For the text, <clears throat> I kept it in the center and I chose a different font or a different style of text because I wanted it to look like the man had written it and it's a little bit shaky. Uh, and then to fly out or to turn, let's see here, I did the swivel. But in this slide, I wanted everything to move along very slowly. So in my timing section, I chose the very slow. That way it creates an effect. I want it to move along slowly to make a point. Let's play that one again. Our text drops in, our letter. It hangs around for a second. Then it swivels out. I like that. Okay, let's move along to our last slide for this part two. And for this text, I chose the swivel. Let's move over here to the timing. Very slow. This is our last slide. I want to make an impression here. I want it to move along very slow. I'm going to cancel because I've already done that. Okay. And then afterwards, I wanted it to teeter. So in the animations tab, I chose the teeter. Let me cancel out of that. I've already done it. This is the teeter. Let's see. what It says teeter. Text box 9. So would you be mine? Let's go to the timing. You can see. Okay, it doesn't say the duration, but it works along with the text box. I guess it did that for me. I didn't notice that, so let me just cancel. I've already done that. Okay. Now, this rose is one that I found, and again, I'll annotate on the YouTube video the keyword for where you can find this. Okay. This arm I found, arm and hand, I found on Microsoft Office. This is actually two pieces. This is a whole arm with a hand. And then in order to get the rose back here and have the fingers in front of it, I had to copy and paste. And then let me show you that. Let's see right here because this one here is for the rose. I had to actually add a couple more leaves to cover a couple of spots here. So this is a, a paste project here on this one. This is the hand. <clears throat> I clicked on it, right click, and then I copy. I want to show you in the home tab in the clipboard. There's the arm, okay? I want to show you what I did here real quick. Let me pull this one out here. I don't want the computer to decelerate any. So what I first did is I went to my picture tools and clicked on that. I removed the background. Okay, I'm not going to show you my computer will decelerate. And then I went over to this crop. Let me see if I can show you that one. Okay. Now I wanted to keep these two fingers here. So I want to move this over. And do this very carefully so that I don't alter the image. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it down. I just want these two fingers here. Okay, let me bring this one over. I don't want the hand necessarily. Now click out of the box and it gives me this. Okay, and then I placed it down here in front. 
And then I told it in the picture tools that I want it to stay in the front. So I want it to stay in the front. I'm not going to click on that so it doesn't mess up our slide, but that's what I did. I made it stay in the front. So I manipulated it. Let me delete this. I've already finished my slide. Let's see the whole slide. Very slowly. So would you be mine? Then it teeters very slowly. This is our last slide for part two. Very nice. Let's play this from the beginning. We go to our slideshow from the beginning. Enjoy this. Okay, and there you have it. Very, very nice. And like I said, the credits, the very last slide, I put that there because I do share it on YouTube. If you're creating this for your loved one and you are not intending to put it on YouTube, this last slide is not that necessary. So I hope you had fun. Look forward to part three. Have a good day.